Grand Rising Wonderful Souls and welcome to the North Star Tarot. This is a channel ooh, all about the heart, all about love, romantic love, um, self-love, self-care, soulmate connection and the twin flame journey. Okay, so if that is something that resonates with you, let's get into this. If you are a new face, welcome and it's nice to see you. Um, thank you for those who have um, liked, shared, subscribed. So this is a new channel. Please know that I have a sister channel um, called Bromins Cove Tarot. Um, that channel um, focuses on everything mystical, non-mystical or muggle, as we would say. Um, know that this is a timeless collective reading so i am picking up on past present and future energy um if i say he she masculine or feminine we hold all of these energies um so this reading could be for you it could be for your divine counterpart it could be for a karmic counterpart um you have to take what resonates and leave the rest know that this is only for fun and entertainment um purposes only if you take any advice in this video you do so at your own risk let's get into it and let's see Let's see what we'd like to come out today. Now we have on here axe in reverse and we have keys on the ring. Oh, oh, okay. So the energy that's coming through at the moment is more or less there's somebody here who is um, in a relationship but acts like they are single and they may be kind of like sharing their like sacred energy, their central energy with a lot of people that they shouldn't be. So you've got ax here, sorry. You've got ax and it says break up, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment and abandonment and it's upside down. So this person may, they may low key not want to be in the relationship they're in, but they haven't thought about taking that plunge or they're worried about taking that plunge or they are in a relationship and they act like they're single but they are not telling the other person they're with that they're acting like they're single. So this person's going out and sowing their seeds, in other words. You've also got keys on a ring, many options, decision, unconventional, string along and one night stand. This may be somebody who tries to breadcrumb um, their mistress or their third party. Or if they're in a situation, they will breadcrumb that person into thinking that they may have a proper relationship. But really, that person is just wanting to keep their options open. Okay. You also have talking and it's in reverse and it says here interested conversing more weighted messages arrives text call email and hovering and it's upside down. This is what I'm talking about like breadcrumbing. This is the energy of like somebody chasing this person or wanting more commitment than they are offering and it could be texting them and going so how are you today and this person has read the message and has left it the entire day before going, yeah, I'm fine. That kind of energy. You've also got sunglasses and it's upside down. And it says here, watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, focusing out, and it's upside down. I don't know if this is a past energy or present, past, present or future. I heard all, oh, it could be all, but with the last one, it's almost like someone is taking the decision to move away from this person. Because without focusing out with the opposite, it's almost like someone's aware that they're being either um, taken advantage of or they're being used or they, they want more than what the other person can offer. OK, because you've also got here hammer and it says sabotage, rebuilding, interrogation, repetitive, persistent and working on it. So if this is a relationship where um, it's a married person maybe this person is going to counseling of some sort um there may be issues in their relationship and you've got here healing heart yeah healing from heartbreak freedom from toxic relationship or addiction so if this this is also this is almost like somebody who is in a relationship doesn't want to be there they may be going to therapy about it they may have actually um with this axe I get like it's an on off on off relationship they may have tried therapy they may have one person may have wanted to go to therapy the other person was like no uh, one person does talk to someone about this or is being told to move away from this person because they are toxic for them okay and you've got hand of cards take a chance risk being strategic options not showing hand and gambling so you whoever this person is that is going out and having these one night stands 
if you are the other person and you are deciding that you're walking away from this because you're you know your cup is constantly empty you're constantly pouring into them or wanting them to pour into you as much as you are to them um this person is going to try and pull on your heartstrings to get you to come back is what i'm getting they really are there is something here about them but i keep hearing they'll never change they'll never change I don't know who needs to hear this because I've got on here the Miriam sacred vision choose to forgive in order to heal to see the light in all remember that love has no boundaries I don't know who, who needs to hear this you don't have to you do not have to forgive the other person that hurt you if one you are not at that stage or you don't want to but forgiving yourself for the energy the time the um the sacred energy that you have you have shared with them you can forgive yourself for that okay seriously because forgiving yourself is so freeing for some reason i want to read from the book but i don't know where i've put the um box for it maybe i'm not meant to on the back you've got freya okay and it's in reverse phases and cycles there is a beginning within every ending illusions are revealed and released this is upside down this is upside down, especially with phases and cycles. And crows to me are always messengers. So somebody is being told you are in a karmic cycle with this person. OK, or this is a karmic partner. And you have to remember that karmic doesn't mean that they're evil or that they you know they're down and dirty and brah. It literally just means that this person has not learnt the lesson that the universe is trying to teach them so that they can evolve and move forward on their you know their path of ascension of growing as a human being and you are either being caught up in that cycle or you have just got out of that cycle because that crow is calling and someone isn't hearing this and someone is going through the same cycle over and over i don't know if somebody may be coming to you with the same complaint the same relationship issue it could be that you know you have a friend that's coming to you and they're saying this is what's happening this person did this and i'm so heartbroken and you're listening and giving them advice but the next time you see them they're telling you the same thing because they haven't taken that advice that could be you or that could be the person that you're thinking of you are being told to listen to the cut the, the um, crow coring listen to what that message is that the divine is trying to tell you about this relationship because the only way that you get to heal your heart and heal from this trauma is moving away from somebody who is still stuck in that cycle if they are um for example if this is a relationship where you've caught this person cheating and it's, it's broken you but you want to heal and move past that with them you can only do that if they are willing to be truthful in where they are on their healing journey are they able to be loyal are they able to you know not do that again and you fully feel like they are being loyal because if you can't if you don't feel like they're going to give you that or they cannot guarantee that for you then you are stuck in a karmic cycle and you have a choice to make, okay? And it says focused intention in here. And it says, think about what you desire. Set your sights high. Expect the best possible outcome. And then on the other side, you have charity, prayer and con contemplation. Connect with heaven. Ask and you shall receive. And it's upside down. There's somebody here who set an intention and it didn't come out the way that they wanted and they're angry about this i don't know if whoever it is who has this wandering eye or whoever it is who has moved away from this relationship but it's karmic because it's like this person's going away and coming back going away and coming back this focused intention think about what you desire set your sets high set set your sights high express that exp why can't i speak expect the best possible outcome but then underneath you have charity someone's angry they're setting this intention and they're not getting the result that they want and i don't know i'm, I'm just feeling at the moment it's like they're directing their anger towards the wrong person i don't know if this is you and you're angry at whoever it is that this that your partner ex-partner whoever that is is looking at 
rather than looking at your partner or ex-partner and going, this is a karmic situation, why am I with you? Or set your sights higher. Charity, prayer and contemplation, connect with heaven, ask and you shall receive. This is heart space healing, okay? This is realizing that you are worth so much more than what this person is offering you. If you had tried and tried and tried to connect with them and meet them halfway and they're not meeting you halfway, you have to ask yourself, what is it that the universe wants you to learn within this this cycle within this relationship okay you want to take anything else from here yes okay let's see what we've got here and you've got here el moira awakened presence the universe is with you wear a cloak of protection and love and it's upside down okay this is telling me that the connection that you have especially with the miriam because the miriam i read in the book that the miriam were actually uh the twin flames they were twin flame angels that went to um, Mary um, just before her conception of Jesus. And they were they were the angels that told her that she was going to become pregnant. She was going to become with child. Um, and it says, choose to forgive in order to heal. See the light in all. Remember that love has no boundaries. Now you have this one upside down, which is saying, wear a cloak of protection and love. If you are focusing your anger it's almost like someone here is really angry that the person that they want to be with doesn't want to be with them fully or doesn't want to give them all of them, only wants to give part. And I keep hearing, why are you investing in this person when you can invest in yourself? Because wearing that cloak of protection and love and it's in reverse, the more that someone's really angry and someone is directing this anger outwards but what is happening is you know it's it's my belief that we are all one the energy that flows through me is the energy that flows through you when you try to hurt me you're hurting yourself when i try to hurt you i'm hurting myself because energy flows through all of us and you're there's something here with the more that you feel angry at somebody else the more you're going to hurt yourself the more you're hurting your own heart and you're being told to let go. Look, Mother Mary, weren't we just talking about Mother Mary, right? And there's Mother Mary. But it's in reverse and it says love and peace. Let, let go of the need to be right. Choose peace. Mother healing is possible at this time. But it's upside down. Somebody's angry at being wronged or the perception of being wronged. And someone's really in... They're, they're really closing themselves off to the lesson within this. Set your sights higher. You deserve better. You deserve somebody who wishes to be your everything. You deserve to be with somebody who wants to give you the world. You deserve to be with somebody who sees your beautiful, brilliant, wonderful light. But you can only get that if you let go of holding on to those who don't want you and you know what I know that sounds really harsh but I I remember um something that my dad said to me years back when I was going through something similar and I was hurting a lot from a relationship that broke down and my dad my dad said to me um it wasn't very eloquent but it stayed with me and he said if they don't want you then you don't want them and, I, and that stayed with me because why invest your time, your effort, your love, your, your energy in somebody who doesn't deserve it? Because if they deserved it, they'd want to be around you. They'd accept you for you. They'd, they'd love your flaws. They'd love your strengths. They wouldn't be somebody who is a key on a ring. They wouldn't be somebody who has feels like they have many options, who is a string along, who's a one night stand. They would be somebody that wanted, wants to share a future with you. And this is the universe. This is your guides. This is your team of highest light and resonance. These are the people that love you in the ethers that are saying, you're not hearing us. You're not seeing that this is a karmic cycle that they want you to break. They want you to look at this and go, ha, 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 ha. This is a cycle that I'm going through. 
I have attracted this person because we co-create everything that we, you know, our human experience. Things don't just happen to us. We are not victims of circumstance. We co-create part of that, okay? And you have drawn this in or this person in as a lesson for you um, so that you can heal from that. And once you do, you're going to attract the person that is your everything. I'm really feeling this. Now let's see which one. One, two. This one. Interesting. Okay. What else would you like to say about this? Because you've got the star here to the Queen of Swords. Okay. It's almost like, because I know that, and the thing is, I'm an intuitive reader. So I will not always read exactly as the cards say on here. I read intuitively. The star card is about validation as well as it is about going viral and being recognized but it's about validation it's about being seen you know and you look at her she's being held she's soaring she's soaring so high she's being seen and then you have the queen of swords so someone's your wish fulfillment here is to be seen to authentically be seen and to be held but there may be a hard exterior on the outside of it doesn't matter i don't give a crap i'm fine i'm strong because <clears throat> then you've got death and the knight of swords it's almost like this hard exterior of i'm going to end it or i'm going to say these aggressive things to keep myself safe there may have been arguments or something along those lines and it's ended something it may have ended a relationship or a connection you've also got the high priestess here you're very intuitive, okay? You're very intuitive. There's water here. You may be very, you may um, connect really well to the divine through water or through nature. There's an, this is an ending that needs to happen. This is what I'm getting. This is an ending that needs to happen for an ascension for you because you have the four of wands here. To the nine of chalices that the four of wands is about safety and, and stability about your identity about who you are material wealth you know and the nine of chalices with it being in reverse this is almost like pushing away or all, all the things that you want are being pushed away from you and i heard this could be karma and i don't say that in a negative way because karma is neither negative or positive it is literally a mirror that reflects back at us our actions and our intent and if you are stuck in a karmic cycle at the moment with somebody who isn't for your highest and greatest good then it's going to be reflected in how you feel safe or how you feel stable and if, if this person doesn't make you feel safe or stable or if when you think about this situation you don't feel safe or stable it's because you aren't supposed to be in this situation with this person anymore you are supposed to be um you're supposed to be safe you're supposed to be grounded you're supposed to you know what i mean and you've got the ten of wands here the ten of wands can be seen as a massive burden but at the same time the ten of wands is the ending you've got to that ten of wands you can put these ones down now you can literally rest them but it's almost like there's a resistance coming from you going i'm not going to invest in that i'm not putting them down i'm going to continue staying in this burden why are you beating yourself up why are you keeping yourself in in this um this chaos advice please advice please the lovers is in reverse this relationship is there to teach you about what your standards should be okay because I'm, I'm feeling like um, the love that needs to be poured into you is more than what this person can give you. Because it's next to the Ten of Wands. And the Fool, look, you're blocking yourself. You're literally blocking yourself. Because right behind this Fool card where you're blocking yourself, it's the Ace of Cups. It's your cup running over. It's everything that you've ever wanted. But it's almost like also you you're telling yourself you're not let no you're not allowing yourself to tell yourself what it is that you actually want because you've got the ace of swords in reverse 
you've got the Ace of Swords in reverse, and then you've got the Empress. I heard you can have it, you could have it all. You've got the High Priestess here, you've got the Ace of Chalices, you've got the Ace of Swords in reverse. It's like you are blocking yourself from your own abundance where you get actual growth, where you have empowerment, where you have the world card underneath. But you're holding yourself back from that, the tower, by holding on to a relationship or a person that isn't for your highest and greatest good, who actually isn't for you. And you've got judgment there, okay? And I keep hearing this is karma. What is this karma for, though? What is this karma for? Page of Pentacles in reverse to the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. This is almost like investing in something that doesn't befit you or isn't for you or doesn't help you. Why? 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 And there, there seems to be this need to like be perfect or to compare yourself and you don't need to. You literally don't need to because you know what? And I, I, someone else said this and it so hit with me. God or the universe created you. There is no other person. There's no other person in this universe that is like you. You are unique. There is only one you. You do not need to compare yourself to anyone else because it's like an apple and a pear comparing each other. They're completely different, they're completely unique and they're both extremely sweet and beautiful and you have to remember that. Do not compare yourself to someone else. Do not try and be the picture of perfection because for me, me personally, the picture of perfection is imperfection. You've got strength and you've got temperance. You're going through it at the moment. I can really feel that you're going through it. And the thing is as well, is that some of the strongest people that I know are people who have been through the darkest of times because it takes immeasurable strength to be able to go through a dark night of the soul, to be able to go through things that really hurt and still get up every day and still function and still do things, you know? So this is strength, this is a lot of strength, but temperance is in reverse. Temperance is in reverse because this cycle, with this love and peace in reverse, you've got a lot of blue here. There's a lot of things that need to be said a lot of blue. I don't know if you are speaking ill of yourself or speaking ill of someone else, but it's blocking your heart chakra. It's literally blocking your heart chakra. A lot of blue, and it's blocking your third eye. You're blocking yourself. You're blocking yourself from the lesson that the universe is desperately trying to tell you, that your guides are trying to tell you as well. Choose to forgive in order to heal. See the light in all. Remember that love has no boundaries. And there is an energy here that really strongly loves you. Loves you. And you're not seeing it. Who is this energy that loves this person? Wow. Page of Wands. Five of Swords. The Lovers. Hmm. This is almost like... Um, I heard past life what? Strife. You may have a connection, whoever it is that you are yearning for, that is not pouring back into you, may be a past life connection. And that is why there is such a draw to this person. But I heard toxic. This person is toxic for you, but there may be like this draw to this person because you've, ha you've shared a connection with them before. Page of Wands. The Page of Wands is a very, um, it can be an immature energy though. It can be an immature energy. I don't know if this person that loves you, this is one of your ancestors. Your an One of your ancestors is, <laughs> they're petty AF. They are petty. 
<laughs> they're brilliant. They're petty at AF, seriously. This um, ancestor may be a high priestess themselves or may be, you know, a witch. They, you may be from a lineage of witches, but they are, um, especially with the five of swords coming out to the lovers. They're somebody that knows how to create mischief. They also know how to, um, there's something about standing up for yourself. But what is happening is that you, I don't know if you are connecting with um lower ancestors rather than higher ancestors because the love is coming out in reverse this can be an ancestor who is encouraging you to connect to lower vibrational relationships than you should be so please ensure that when you are calling on your team of highest light and resonance that you're calling on your elevated ancestors and not on your lower ancestors the thing is as well is this is something to do with like generational um, trauma or debt. So you may have had people and we all do. We literally all do have ancestors who went through similar things to us. And it's almost like a cycle that's been passed down to us because that's what I'm getting from this. And I feel this is why you've got Freya coming out in reverse with phases and cycles. Your ancestors that you have elevated ancestors here who are trying to tell you this is a karmic cycle they want you to break it so you can break that chain because when you break that chain that's when you get the ace of you get this ace of cups here and you get the world eight of wands and this will come in really quickly for you when you break that it will come in really really quick look you've got the eight of wands to the six of wands to the fall this i'm getting goosebumps this is literally your ancestors saying when you break this chain and you break this cycle and you see what the pattern is when it comes to toxic relationships. Why is my head so itchy? You get the six of wands. You get the eight of wands. You get a victory of some sort. What is this new beginning? What's the new beginning? What's the new beginning? Knight of wands. The new beginning. I don't know why the new beginning is giving me celibacy of some sort. Knight of cups. Ten of swords. A new beginning that comes in may actually start with some sort of mountain that you have to climb. I had a business venture of some sort. Because you've got the Knight of Cups in reverse. But the Knight of Cups in reverse is usually to do with like um, a lack of compassion. But I don't know if this is almost like, you've got, look, you've got the Five of Swords, you've got Temperance and you've got the Knight of Cups. Why have we got such aggressive energies coming out as a new beginning? What is the new beginning for this person if they 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 actually break that chain and they, they move away from toxic or addictive behaviours? Whoa, all of my cards threw themselves out. Two of cups to the ten to the six of pentacles. Queen of Wands. I'm not taking all of these cards because they're way too many. But what I am going to take is these. You have the Knight of Cups in reverse. I feel like there is a lot of trepidation coming from you from wanting to let go. And the thing is, I can appreciate that. That, you know, when you've been in an energy for so long, it, you get comfortable in it. It's like being in the South Node or being in like a relationship where you've trauma bonded with the person, but you don't really enjoy their energy, but they're just there, you know. It's then difficult to go off and do your own thing. And that Knight of Cups can also feel like isolation because it's numbing of the heart, isn't it? Because what you've actually got, Knight of Wands to the, the Knight of Cups, this is something about blocking. Why am I getting the universe is with you? Wear a cloak of protection and love. And then you have the Knight of Wands in reverse. You've blocked yourself in some way. And you're being told that this new beginning will start with that block. Like you have to work through that block. It's not just going to disappear. You have to work through that because you have charity in reverse with prayer and contemplation. There's a heart block here. No wonder we have the Knight of Cups next to it with the, you know, the prayer and contemplation in reverse. And then Mother Mary, love and peace. There's anger here. There is a lot of anger here. 
And do you know what? The thing is as well is anger is not a negative emotion unless we repress it. Anger is the loudest emotion we have to where we hurt. And this really is a calling for you to have a look at where you hurt. Because doing so, you have the Eight of Swords, you have the Queen of Wands, you have the Two of Cups, and you have the Six of Pentacles. This is finding peace, and it's not just finding peace, it's finding peace through a, in, a creative endeavour. Something that will stay with you, something that will actually bring in balance for you. Because the Six of Pentacles for me is about balance, it's about generosity, it's about charity. This is finding who you are through your own creative expression through growing things and things something that will stay with you okay and i know that the eight of swords is usually about being like overwhelmed or overpowered but with it being this way it also gives you that energy of being able to let go by finding a creative endeavor that helps you to flow through that and that's how you're going to find your peace and that's when somebody who is well matched for you who is supposed to come in for you will come in for you and look at that that's the one that was on the top five of cups in reverse that's beautiful okay now i want to get one more card and then i think i'm going to close this one down okay now, should i get you want me to open this one yeah because look at the moment you're out of line not out of line excuse me sorry you're out you're unaligned there's something that's unaligned Okay, I heard Reiki would be really good for you. You have got the fifth chakra, Archangel Gabriel. There's something that you need to speak out, okay? Whether you speak it out to yourself, whether you speak it to someone else, whether you are going to therapy or it resonates with you to go to therapy. Remember, I'm not a therapist in any way, shape or form, but if that does resonate with you, please go, you know, seek out the um, professional um, sector for therapy you've also got here the moon defend accept and let your feelings tell you how to exactly okay the moon is um it it governs over cancer and cancer is all to do with emotions it's a water energy and the thing is cancer is also to do with the feminine energies in our um our family so it could be sister mother auntie grandmother there's an energy here of either speaking to someone in the family that will understand and be able to support you or it could also be because because we were talking about kind of like generational karma this could also be to do with um as you are speaking your truth how you are going to break that chain that has come through your family be that your mother line i'm getting mother line more than father line which is going to help to align you it's literally going to help to align you but you may need to get reiki there's something here about getting reiki luck is on your side luck is on your side taking time to look at what it is that you want what you actually want not i want to get revenge or i'm angry because this person doesn't want to be with me or it's that person's fault but really what do i deserve what do i want you know what type of love do i want what type of friendship do i want what type of job do i want what what is it that I want doing so and slowly looking at what actually hurts and where it came from and taking accountability for the energy that you've poured into that. I feel like hot upon a pono would be really beneficial for you. It's going to bring luck in for you because that's red as well. That's a root chakra. It's going to bring in foundations of security, identity, safety and material wealth for you. Okay exactly surrender 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 to it because you've got bride in the cage and this is also like my um this is my my love spell card and it's in reverse i don't know if you feel like um in some cases there's been manipulation in this relationship whether you've been manipulated or you've been manipulating someone else or if that's a tendency because you've got the five of swords with this bride in the cage to the six of wands there's something here about surrendering control and i have to keep saying it don't hold on to someone that doesn't want you because it's disempowering and you deserve better you deserve somebody that wants to hold on to you with both hands okay because look you do that and a new romantic cycle will start for you it literally will surrender to the divine 
because right now you've got a man holding the coin upside down. So there is somebody that doesn't want to be there that you're holding on to, and you don't need to. You don't need that person. You literally don't. Surrender to the divine. Surrender. I'm going to leave it there. I really hope that gave you some confirmation and clarity on what you already intuitively knew. And I wish you all the healing and love. I really, really do. Um, if you are new to my channel and that resonated, I'd love for you to hit on the like, the subscribe and the notification bell. And if you would like a personal reading, all of my information is in the description box down below. But with that being said, I love you guys. See you later. Bye.